respected parents dear colleagues and my beloved students a republic day wishes to each one of you today we celebrate the 73rd republic day of the nation india our motherland is a noble nation it's a nation with cultural diversity it's a nation with regional diversity it is a nation with religious diversity in spite of all these differences diverse pluralistic ex- existence we people of india could constitute india that's a great thing for that we adopted we enacted and we gave to ourselves a constitution the constitution was enacted on the 26th day of november 1949 but we implemented it only on 26th day of january 1950 there is a reason in the year 1929 in the lahore session of the congress we had decided to celebrate independence day on 26th january 1930 from that day onwards we continued celebrating independence day on january 26th till 1946 in the year 1947 we got the real independence on 15th august after that 26th january was left or forgotten now when the uh, leaders of our country decided to implement a constitution they decided that it will be implemented on that auspicious day that is 26th january and it was in 1950 according to the constitution we got an elected president and we wanted to make india a strong nation a mighty nation with all the facilities all the powers all the capabilities utilizing the talents of the people because people are the most important resource of a nation that is why the constitution in the beginning we say we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india we have constituted india in such a way that there will be justice for all the people social justice political justice economic justice etc etc we stress upon liberty liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship we insist upon equality equality for all the people opportunity and status and we consider all the citizens of india as brothers and sisters that is what is called as fraternity brotherhood and we have set up all these noble ideals to make india a stronger richer mightier nation that is why i told in the beginning india is a noble nation now dear children this noble nation is in our hands rather it is in your hands it is for you to maintain and uphold democracy it is for you to ensure justice to all the sections of the society it is up to you to give freedom of speech expression belief faith worship everything and we will have to work for these noble causes and that is why we say very proudly we say on the 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution we made it and we gave to ourselves and it was implemented on 26th january 1950 and now the nation is in our hands we will have to lead the nation forward accept respect all the ideals and constitute india much more higher stronger healthier well dear thank you very much jai hind freedom in our mind faith in our words pride in our hearts and memories in our thoughts good morning to everyone who is present over here on the
the prosperous occasion of Republic Day. I am Samiksha of Class 11C, wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. Today, we all have gathered here to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day of our nation. This is a great and auspicious occasion for all of us. As a tribute to India's Republic, ceremonial parades takes place at Rajput. The celebration begins from Rashtrapati Bhavan, followed by Raisina Hill on the Rajput. Past the India Gate is the main attraction on Republic Day. There is a presence of VIPs, President, Vice President, Prime Minister, Cabinet Ministers, politicians, high-ranking officials and other selected general public to witness the occasion. It also showcases India's cultural and social heritage with defense capabilities. Republic Day is celebrated in every state, schools, colleges and offices with great enthusiasm. India is a democratic country since 15th August 1947 because India got its independence on that day and we celebrate it as our Independence Day. Do you know why we celebrate Republic Day every year on 26th January? We celebrate Republic Day on that day because the Indian constitution got into force on that day and we celebrate it every year continuously on this day since then. Do you know what does our constitution contains? Our constitution has a preamble and 470 articles. Republic means the supreme power of people living in a nation and the people have the right to choose their sovereign head. India is a democratic country and citizens have equal rights. In India, the citizens are the rulers and they elect their head of the state. Our first Indian president, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, has said that under the jurisdiction of one constitution and one union, we have got together the entire part of this vast land, which is the population of men and women living in this country, takes responsibility for welfare. Our great scientist and former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, has said that if a country becomes corruption free and a nation of beautiful mind, I strongly feel that there are three prime members who can make a difference. He is a father, mother and a guru. As a citizen of India, we should think about it seriously and make all possible efforts to make India a better country. Ever since we have got independence from British rule, our country has developed a lot and is now counted among the most leading developed countries of the world. In this moment, we should congratulate each other and thankful to the God for the betterment of our country. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.
जरा याद करो कुर्बानी जब देश में थी दीवाली वो खेल रहे थे होली जब हम बैठे थे खरों में जब हम बैठे थे खरों में वो छेल रहे थे गोली ते धन्य जवान वो अपने ते धन्य जवान वो मुक्की जो शहीद हुए हैं उनकी जरा याद करो कुर्बानी ए मेरे वतन के लोगों जरा आँख में जो शहीद हुए हैं उनकी जरा याद करो कुर्बानी जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद की सेना जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद की सेना जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद जय हिंद On this Republic Day, I am very proud to present the importance of one of the national monuments of India, the India Gate, which has a great significance in the Indian history. The India Gate is a national war memorial located astride the Rajpath. It stands as a memorial to 90,000 soldiers of British Indian Army who died in between 1914 and 1921 in the First World War. The eternal flame at the Amar Jawan Jyoti underneath India Gate in Central Delhi was an iconic symbol of the nation's tribute to the soldiers who have died for the country in various wars and conflicts since independence. Established in 1972, it was to mark India's victory over Pakistan in the 1971 war, which resulted in the creation of Bangladesh. The then Prime Minister. Srimati Indira Gandhi had inaugurated it on Republic Day 1972 after India defeated Pakistan in December 1971. The key elements of the Amar Jawan Jyoti included a black marble plinth, a cenotaph which acted as a tomb of the unknown soldiers. The plinth had an inverted L1A1 self-loaded rifle with a soldier's war helmet. Wreaths are placed at the Amar Jawan Jyoti on every Republic Day, Vijay Divas, and Infantry Day by the Prime Minister and the Chief of the Armed Force. In July 2014, the government announced plans to construct a National War Memorial in the India Gate Circle and an adjoining National War Museum. The National War Museum was completed in January 2019. From January 2022. It houses the Amar Jawan Jyoti or the flame of the immortal soldiers. <laughs>